Two days after I bring my newborn daughter home from the hospital, 22-month-old son, when's she going back? Back where? To her house at the hospital. She lives with us now. Mommy, you're not making good choices. Okay. I mean, the 22-month-old is clearly right, but he's fake. Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin, your most likely to be least favorite, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash that happened. You know, where nothing happens at all. I was going on vacation with my family and saw this cute girl at the airport lounge that seemed to be my age. There's just something special about seeing someone your age at the airport. I don't know why. Okay. I approached her, and little did we know, we had seats next to each other. Long story short, we ended up screwing in the bathroom of the plane. Yeah, yeah all right, cool, you lost us all. Then, when we landed, we screwed again in another bathroom. After that, we exchanged numbers and went on with our vacations. Today, she's my girlfriend, and I love her so much. Wow, how romantic. If that story was true, I feel like she would be incredibly upset with you sharing that with anybody. I just had to take my daughter to an ENT. Here was our conversation, looking at her chart. Doctor, allergic to aluminum and medications? Why would there be aluminum and medications? Me, she's allergic to vaccines. There's aluminum in vaccines. There's aluminum in vaccines? Really? Yes, sir. Hmm, interesting. I did not know that there was aluminum in vaccines. Why would that be in there? To himself, looking puzzled. How did you find that out? The CDC media and excipient list, it says it right on there. Really? It does? Yes, along with many other harmful ingredients like formaldehyde and human DNA. <laughs> Human DNA. I didn't know that any of that was in there. I just had a bunch of vaccines to go to Africa. Well, you should go look. You might be shocked at what's in them. I guess so. Looking confused. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, this doctor's definitely a real person that you had a conversation with. Uh-huh. Just as a quick reminder, don't you ever mistake your seven Google searches for someone's 14 years of medical training. OMFG, my mom was just cutting a baguette and I snuck up behind her and grabbed grabbed the bread and ran, and she was like, what are you doing? And I shouted, I'm 24601, and now I'm hiding in my room with a huge baguette. What do I do? Update, I built a barricade. Wow, so random. I remember in the fifth grade, a boy said, oh my God, I can see your bra strap. I stood up loudly with a lot of drama and said, oh yes, nobody can know that me, a girl, wears a bra. Somebody call Victoria because her secret's out. His face turned red and everybody laughed. To be fair, that one does seem at least a little bit believable. <laughs> Although, I don't think for a second you were that clever in fifth grade. I'm in the store, and the moron manager comes over and tries to tell me to put a mask on, and I'm telling him I'm not. It's not the law, and no one can take away my freedom. Everyone is now watching. I yell, this is America, not Russia. You do not have to wear a mask or do anything the overwatchers tell you. I never wear a mask. I have never been sick. It is possible this virus thing is a hoax. Don't let them tell you what to do, people. Suddenly, people are taking off their masks and clapping. I have that effect. My nine-year-old son has learned about Karens through YouTube. He thinks a group of Karens should be called a complaint. No, no, no. A group of Karens is called a privilege. So I'm at a gas station getting Red Bull, and the guy in front of me is trying to get condoms, and his card got freaking declined. And this little old woman behind me whispered, he just got cock-blocked by Visa. I freaking crapped myself. Again, depends on where you are, because some old ladies get real bored, dude. LMAO, a girl asked me if I could rap, and I proceeded to rap the whole of Eminem's rap god flawlessly. She then gave me a blowjob. <laughs> My God, come on, man. There's always that one line that ruins it for them. Yeah, I did this somewhat impressive thing that's completely plausible, and then Obama came out of my closet and gave me a high five. Just because I look like a model doesn't mean I want to be constantly hit on. Paige and I are at a club, and I've got guys throwing their numbers at me. Can't I just have a drink without getting hit on by 30 guys? Some guys are leaving their girlfriends to come and try and talk to me. One guy offers me a modeling contract. Uh-huh. 
One guy says he's an acting agent and wants to sign me. This happens everywhere I go. Sure, honey. Imagine how it'll be when I'm famous. If I can't even go to Starbucks without 15 guys hitting on me, when I'm famous, it'll be a lot worse. I was driving and came to a stoplight and six guys <laughs> hit on me. This is why customer service is the perfect job for me right now. No one can see me. They talk to me normal. I was standing on the bus back from uni and the driver suddenly braked really hard and this girl flew across the bus and somehow I caught her and without thinking I said, I think you just fell for me and I crap you not the entire bus applauded me. <laughs> Why is there always an applause? That never happens. On my way home from work, I ride my bicycle and was sweaty and dirty. I had a date that night and stopped at a high-end clothes store to pick up some new pants and a shirt. The staff all pretty much ignored me, which is fine with me. I know they work on commission. I purchased close to $1,000 and the manager asked how my experience was. I told him that I wasn't greeted, nobody asked if I needed assistance, and was pretty much shunned. He apologized and asked me to wait at the register. He walked out on the floor and fired every single uppity employee. He offered me a discount or a gift certificate. I thanked and told him I would be back with more friends. I don't believe this story, but it reflects poorly on you. What kind of a person would be psyched to get multiple people fired because the salesperson didn't pay enough attention? Fired employees? You mean, at worst, they got moved to a different store or shift time? No way is one customer's bad experience going to make a manager fire their entire store's worth of staff. LOL at you for thinking it was anything but show. My 11-year-old daughter said, Why didn't the Democrats allow an open and transparent audit of the five contested areas? It would have ended all the controversy. My 14-year-old son said, Because it would have exposed the fraud. I just love my kids. Me too! I love fantasy! I was high with a bodybuilder friend once and talked about how it was kind of messed up that we eat other animals' muscles to grow our own. He went vegan after that and said never again. Those are their gains, bro, not mine. Bro. Bill Gates is a proven sociopath and psychopath. In the late 1970s and early 80s, I went to a few outdoor campus parties at Harvard. While there, I noticed Bill Gates. Those who I was with warned me not to socialize with him. More perks of being best friends with the son of a Russian mafia boss. The best part of owning a Chick-fil-A is free food whenever you want. Bruh, what? Today Amazon just mistakenly gave me a PS5 LMAO. I kind of feel bad, but there was no address on it to return it. Literally just a box. If you're missing a PS5, let me know in the comments and I'll give it back to you. Sure you will. While helping my daughter with World War II homework, she asked when they'd learn about Captain America and Hydra, or the box Indiana Jones found that melts people, because that's when things will get cool. I can't decide if this means I'm failing as a father or absolutely crushing it. The only crushing that needs to be going on is of your balls, good sir. I'm six foot three and I wear a cowboy hat, boots, and a full length duster everywhere I go. And so far, everyone seems too intimidated to ask me to put on a mask. Took an IQ test. I scored a 141. Maybe next time I'll score higher. That's not really bad at all. My IQ is really good, lol. Honestly, it's just a measurement of how well and fast you learn. Mine's 182. <laughs> wow, your IQ is higher than Einstein's was. Einstein only had an IQ of 160 to 170. I interviewed a candidate through Skype last week. During the call, I heard the sound of inmates in the background. Are you in prison? I asked. Mind you, we have a strict policy on felonies. Yes, and my kids are in the background. I hope that's okay. He thought I would dismiss him for having smuggled a Raspberry Pi and webcam into a maximum security facility. On the contrary, I admired his resourcefulness. I hired him on the spot and then immediately rescinded my offer. I like to keep candidates on their toes. He did well. After the interview, I told him that I wasn't impressed with his rap sheet because I'd already lived it. Nor was I impressed with how he presented himself. He burst into tears. My fault, B. I felt bad. I told him that he was actually beginning to look familiar. As he dried his tears, I remembered an old adage. Real, recognize real. This was our guy. I changed my mind again and gave him the contract. He couldn't believe it because he thought I was going to leave the call. Dead ass? He asked in disbelief. I chortled, realizing what a good thing I'd done. Smiling, I told him, dead ass, my friend. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> a little girl wanted to know what the states looked like. Her dad tore a map of the USA from a magazine and then cut it into small pieces. 
He told her to go to her room and see if she can put it together. After some minutes, she returned and handed the map correctly fitted and taped together. The dad was surprised and asked how she had finished so quickly. She said on the other side was a picture of Jesus, and when I put him back, that our country just came together. <laughs> when did you realize that teacher you loved was actually an ass? I had a subteacher last week in my eighth grade bio class who kept trying to make me do my work. I don't do homework. Kept bugging me about it, so I kicked the crap out of him. Right, I'm sure you definitely did. My kid is smarter than me. My 10-year-old daughter just said to me, if I had a boyfriend and I got engaged to my boyfriend, and he treated me the way mommy treats you, I wouldn't marry him. At least she'll never live like this. Wow, it sounds like there's way more going on that you need to confront. My coworker's ex beat her up till he broke her rib cages and popped a vessel in her eye. So now, every time her current boyfriend sees him, it's on sight, and he whoops his ass every time to remind him how it feels. She said he's beat him up on four separate occasions. We stan a king. Oh boy, it starts with shooting. I won a knife fight and survived. No ambulance, didn't even have a knife. Kid was a freaking moron pussy though. I ducked under when he slashed at me and he got me across the shoulder blades. Huh? Double leg takedown and he landed on the back of his head. The end. I had certainly antagonized him enough to sort of deserve it, so I cleaned out my cut and butterfly bandaged it and called it a day. It's a pretty wicked scar, though. Looks like a sword got me since it never got stitched up right. Right. I just went to a McDonald's and there was no McFish on the menu. What the hell happened? Is it permanently banned, or is it just my local McDonald's? I demanded to see the manager, but they accused me of being a male Karen, so I walked out. What the hell is a McFish? And furthermore, if the McFish had ever been on the menu and they took it away, I don't think anybody in that restaurant made that decision. Usually it comes from higher up, so you screaming at the teenagers working behind the counter isn't really gonna help your fucking case anyway, my guy. So this one time in eighth grade, I was walking home and some of the popular girls came up to me and pushed me into a puddle and told me to go have sex with my boyfriend. And this girl says, wait guys, she doesn't even have one. And Try all laughed at me until the most popular guy in school came up to me and said, wait, did we break up? I sure hope not, and kissed me. And I had no clue what he was doing, but yeah, we just got married. <laughs> Thinking about a divorce in a couple years, you know. I usually just go to the doc when I'm really sick. I tell them what's wrong, what meds I need, what doses, and for how long, and they just look at me like, huh, this guy's freaking insane. That's not at all how this works. Just pissed off a TSA chick because I was taking off all my metal stuff. So my belt, my two cuffs, my waist chain, my necklace, my boots, and my jacket. And the TSA girl just goes, wow, kid, you have quite a bit of metal stuff. And I looked this f straight in the face and said, I'm more metal than you will ever begin to understand, you nerd. I'm at school writing this and something crazy just happened. So I was listening to this during social studies, you know, just doing my own thing. And I noticed the fat rat uploaded a new song. So I thought, why the hell not? He's one of my favorite musicians after all. I must've been playing it for like a minute. And then someone shook my shoulder and gestured for me to take my earbuds off. He was telling me everyone in the class could hear the music because my earbuds weren't fully inside my phone. I looked at the entire room and everybody was just rocking their heads to the music. My mind went blank and I must have been blushing super hard. Haha, <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed but so happy at the same time. When I stopped the music, they just told me to keep playing it until the end. LMAO. Feels good, man. Lady behind me at the store. Excuse me, I can see your nipples through your shirt. That's so inappropriate. Me? What's inappropriate is the fact that I can smell your breath through my mask and yours. Six feet? No pressure, Karen. She deserved it. Everyone has nipples. Her? I'm going to tell your manager. Me, a black woman? Oh, you're racist too? Oh, for God's sake. Why do you people always pull the race card? Manager walks up. She obviously stops him. This employee is a disgrace to your company. Look at her nipples, to put it short. Looks at me, then at her, then gives me the look of confirmation. Ma'am, this is a Walmart and she doesn't even work here. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. 
Her makes a scene and is escorted out by security. The best part is, her name was Carol. Why is that the best part? I got my entire workplace to see the truth. One of the older coworker ladies gave me this mask with kittens on it, and she said that she found it online after I told her that I loved cats. I then ripped it up in front of her stunned face and gave a speech on how COVID was fake and made up by Fauci, and docs have to have a job. The entire office clapped, and now everyone's wanting to learn more about the truth. Even my my manager gave me a promotion. Whatever makes you feel better, sweetie. This happened once. In first grade, the entire class, including teachers, got a different answer. But I got one more. So everyone was like, no, it's blank. And then I went up to the whiteboard, showed them my answer, and outsmarted the teachers. The driver got arrested five times by the police because of the painting. I'm sure he did. I became a professor at age 25 to experience those fantasies. One of my students was hot, so I hinted at her for extra credit. The next day, she came to my office and we had sex. <laughs> Still gave her an F in the class, though. What did you learn at school today? Restorative justice is sort of like when you knock someone's block tower down. You don't just apologize and walk away. Restorative justice means you help them rebuild it. Ah uh, yes, the five-year-old kindergartner said that. I've delivered food for a long time. 15 years. Definitely hooked up with a lot of wives. Sometimes been caught. Guys get real sensitive when they hear a hung white man making their wife moan loud. Oh well, I get mine. Yeah, then you wake up. <laughs> oh god. I DM'd a celebrity about a sex dream I had about him. I wasn't even expecting a reply, but we ended up adding each other. Now, I don't know how to talk to him without looking desperate but he follows this page. So if you see this, snap me or not. It's cool. Buying tampons. Cashier, would you like a bag? Me? No, thank you. There's a very sketchy guy outside and I want him to know that I'm not the person to be messed with today. Cashier legitimately scream laughed. See, that's more plausible. My son came home from school today and told me that his classmates were making fun of him for being conservative and straight. In fact, one kid's parents told him he was gay, so he went around saying that and punched my son when he said he was straight. WTF? Oh my god, straight people wish they were oppressed so bad, and it's so funny. I talked to my liberal neighbor tonight about the 2020 elections. She said it's a hard decision on who to vote for. I said, no it's not. It's either Trump or socialism. Her jaw dropped. She said she never looked at it that way. It's that simple, folks. Trump or socialism. I just catch me sitting here waiting for the socialism to start any day now. My three-year-old daughter comes up to me and says, give away the stone, let the waters kiss and transmutate. I looked at her and said, these laden grudges into gold. She then stated that Tool is the best band ever and that I was the best dad ever. I think I won today. I worked for Tool once. They're all right. So my 14 year old told me you can't catch a virus as they taught her at school for a whole term just before this scam. She got A. She said people are truly stupid. God, these are so hard to read. Learn to write. Oh God, this is gonna be a nightmare to read. Bear with me, folks. I don't know, man. Had some liberals for furniture movers and they refused service to my family cause we were simply white. Is that a type of bread? They even said it as they left before they could build our furniture that we paid for them to build. And the manager had to get on them twice and then fired them and had to send brand new people to get crap done. Well, welcome to r slash that happened. So today my AP art history teacher was teaching us about the only female pharaoh and he was like, have you seen women? They can pop out a baby and be like, all right, let's go. And then he walked over to this guy and aimed his fists towards his balls and the guy flinched and held his crotch and he was like, men may be stronger, but women are tougher. And then he said, so when someone tells you to grow a pair, they mean ovaries. Huh, I'm gonna get that tattooed on my butt. I caught my kid stealing something in a store, so I made him personally apologize to the owner of the store and told him he would work for three months without pay. Teacher tried to suspend me for writing a book and knowing the author's reasons. I wrote a small novel and published it. My town has a small publisher. One day in school, we had to read it, one to 200 pages, and keep track of small details to discuss. And one thing was the reason the main character was wearing a fedora. It's because it means they are sad that their friend died. When the teacher said this, I corrected her, and she said, how do you know? And I said, look who wrote the book. They tried to suspend me. Sure, 
You know what, that's it folks, I can't take it anymore. We've come to the end of today's video, but before we get going, let's make sure to check out that fan art. Wow, this took forever to make. Might look simple, but those eyes, man, those eyes were hard. Woo-hoo-hoo, I can see that. Dang! Also, you've perfectly captured my mood here with those four subs. Ugh. Always remember, folks, if you even somewhat enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed the video, well, then make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. And until next time, I'll catch you later.